Hey guys, it's Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be comparing two mattresses, the Puffy mattress and the Casper mattress. You might be down to these two mattresses and I'm going to be telling you the pros and cons of both, what the similarities are, what the differences are, and which type of sleeper should get one over the other, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Let's start off by talking about what's similar between these two mattresses, Puffy and Casper. Both very popular mattresses, and when you incorporate discounts of both, they actually come out to about the same price range. Pretty similar thickness overall, have a pretty similar base layer, they both incorporate memory foam in their construction. Now let's talk about what's different between the Puffy and Casper mattress. Number one, material. So the Puffy has a pretty simple construction. Two layers, has a base layer and then four inches of gel memory foam on top. Casper has a soft latex-like layer, then a memory foam layer, then a transition layer, then a base layer. It's also zoned to be a little bit firmer in the middle of the mattress, a little bit softer up towards the head. Underneath your shoulders will be, feel a little bit softer. So there's gonna be some firmness differences as well. I think that the Casper is gonna come in just a little bit softer, especially when you consider it has that zone support where it's gonna be softer underneath your shoulders. There's gonna be some feel differences as well. You're gonna really sink into the Puffy. It has sort of that quick sandy memory foam feel, just given that it has four inches of gel memory foam, versus the Casper, which is more of a balanced uh, foam feel overall. Now let's break down the construction of both mattresses and talk about what the important differences are. Starting with the Puffy, it's very simple construction. You basically have two layers. You have four inches of gel memory foam, then a base layer. So basically, you're gonna have that memory foam feel. It's gonna be really slow moving. You're really gonna sink into the mattress. We're gonna sleep in the mattress. It's gonna kind of envelop you and wrap around you versus the Casper where you more sleep on top of the mattress. Moving on to the Casper now, we have four layers. We have a soft latex-like layer, then a memory foam layer, then a transition layer, then a base layer. So the transition layer is actually zoned, so it's actually gonna be a little bit firmer in the middle of the mattress. So if you're sleeping on your back and stomach, it's gonna be a little bit more supportive. If you sleep on your side, it's gonna be a little bit softer underneath your shoulder, um, give you a little bit more pressure relief. Um, so let's talk about the Puffy for a second. Um, I think the firmness will depend on your weight. So if you're a little bit heavier, you might press through that top layer and hit the firmer layer underneath that. If you're a little bit lighter, you may think it's a little bit softer, but either way, you're really gonna sink into the mattress. Um, the Casper has more of a balanced foam feel, so you're going to get some of the, the memory foam qualities, some latex-like qualities. Um, you're going to get good pressure relief without the feeling of getting stuck. I think as far as breathability, I would maybe give Casper a slight advantage, just having memory foam on top of the Puffy. Uh, memory foam is known for trapping heat, and I think just having more of a, a more breathable foam on top of the Casper means it might be more breathable overall. I would say durability, I can't really say. I would maybe say Casper might be a little bit more durable, but that's just me kind of giving my educated guess. Now let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put the Casper about a 6 out of 10 with 10 being the firmest, and Puffy about a 6.5 out of 10. I would just caveat you with that. I would say if you're a little bit heavier, just given that the Puffy has two layers, it has a very soft top layer, and um, then very firm base layer. If you're heavier, you might press through that top layer and feel a little bit more firmness. If you're a little bit lighter, you may not press through at all, and you might think it's a lot softer than a heavier person might. So that's just a word of caution. As far as feel is concerned, it's really just a true memory foam feel versus more of a balanced foam feel overall with the Casper. So with the Puffy, you really sink into the mattress. It's really that kind of slow moving feel. You're really gonna be enveloped or hugged by the mattress. Whereas you're gonna feel like you sleep more on top of the Casper. If you drop a lacrosse ball, you'll see that there's a lot more bounce with the Casper than there is with the Puffy. With the Puffy, just kind of, kind of dies right there. So you have some bounce with the Casper. Um, it has some memory foam-like qualities, but you're not gonna get the feeling of getting stuck. Whereas Puffy is just that true memory foam feel. Now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on my back, on the Puffy, I feel like it's a decent match for me. The memory foam conforms pretty well to the curves of my body. I might be just a tad bit too soft in my opinion. On the Casper, I feel like it's a pretty good match for me. You can really feel that zone support, so it feels a little bit firmer when you're on your back. Um, so switching onto my side now, I feel like the Puffy really shines here. That memory foam kind of gets to work and really relieves that pressure quite well. Casper's also a pretty good match with that zone support. It's gonna be a little bit softer underneath your shoulders, so I felt like it was a pretty good match for me there as well. Switching onto my stomach, I feel like the Puffy is just a little bit too soft. Uh, you got four inches of pretty soft memory foam. I don't think you need that much memory foam if you sleep on your stomach, and you probably want something a little bit firmer. I feel like the Casper was a decent match there. Just with that zone support, it feels a little bit firmer when I'm on my stomach. Mattress Clarity, we like to mix objective tests with subjective opinions. One objective test we really like is some visualization of exactly how well each mattress leaves pressure. That is a pressure map test. I basically get down on a pressure map, get down on my backside and stomach, and you see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. 
So in this particular case, what really matters is the side sleeping results. We throw up the side sleeping results with the Puffy and Casper. You'll see that there's a little bit of difference between the shoulders and hips, but they kind of cancel each other out. They actually do both do a pretty good job of relieving pressure in this particular case. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person, want to give my experience with these two mattresses. So today, we have the Casper Original Mattress and the Puffy Mattress here. In terms of firmness, I said the Casper here was a 7 out of 10, and the Puffy here was more like a 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Now, my experience was definitely because of how large I am. So a lot of times with mattresses, especially foam mattresses, I'll press into a mattress more than Joe would, so it'll feel firmer to me. So I think because of that, the Puffy actually feels firmer to me than it did to Joe. So Let's talk about the kind of sleeping positions though as well. So over in the Casper, you're gonna have a zone construction. And because of that, on my back, I feel really good support. My hips don't sink in too far. I feel really supported there. It's actually firmer there in that area to keep me from going in too far into the mattress. On my side though, I'm pressing a little bit. I'm feeling some firmness in my shoulders and my hips, but actually less than I feel over here on the Puffy. On my stomach, I'm definitely feeling pretty well supported. My hips aren't sinking in too far. I feel really supported overall. Over here on the Puffy though, you don't have a zone construction. So because of that on my back, I do feel decent support, but not as good as I felt over on the Casper. On my side, I am pressing way too far under the mattress. I'm kind of bottoming out, feeling some heavy firmness in my shoulders and my hips. On my stomach at the same time, it's not firm enough, so I'm definitely bowing in at the hips there. So overall between these two mattresses, if you are a heavier sleeper, I would lean more towards the Casper. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're going to want to consider when looking at a mattress. That's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner's moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion going to be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake you up at night? Edge support is basically, can you sit towards the edge of the bed? Can you sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're going to fall off? So as far as motion transfer is concerned, I would give the advantage to Puffy. It has memory foam on top and that does a very good job at isolating motion. As far as edge support is concerned, I give the advantage to Casper. It just seems to do a better job of kind of preventing that rolling off the bed feeling. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, who should get one over the other? As far as who should get the Casper, I think if you sleep on your stomach and back mainly, it's going to be the more supportive of the two. Definitely combination sleepers having this zone support means it's going to be a little bit softer underneath your shoulders, which makes it good for side sleeping, and more supportive when you're on your back and stomach. feels a little bit firmer because of that zone support. I think heavier sleepers may find this to be a better match. Just having more layers and having that transition layer means you're not going to bottom out if you're on your side. Uh, so I think it's more appropriate for heavier sleepers. And if you want to move around more easily, have more balanced foam feel overall, that's definitely what the Casper provides. As far as who should get the Puffy, I think if you really like sinking into your mattress, um, you really like memory foam, you've had success with that before, that's definitely the type of feel that you get here. I think if you're a light or medium weight side sleeper, um, the memory foam really gets to work, does a very good job at relieving pressure, and can be a pretty good match for you in that particular case. All right, to wrap up, hopefully I've given you a good overview of the similarities and differences between these two mattresses. I think the differences are pretty clear, but if for some reason you're still confused, you can just leave a comment below. Tell me a little bit of information about yourself and your sleep preferences, and I can give you a personal recommendation, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're just getting started with your research, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a full list of our top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.